Hey buddy, it's John with Planet Tech, and today we're going to be doing our next part, our first video into the Android creation of building a video game for your Android phone. Uh, we're going to start this off very simple, and then start adding more to it as we go along, so you guys can keep up to it. Make sure that you do have a decent phone. If you have a higher end dual core phone, you should be fine. If you're running a lower end quad core, you're going to be fine, because you have more cores processing this stuff. Uh, it's like multiple brains um, so yeah so what we're gonna do is actually just keep with the standard cube as our player and a third person view to it so he just moves around in a room and then later on we'll actually be um, adding more assets to it so multiple rooms some doors opening right now we're actually gonna be uh, adding in non-textured items so that it's easier to run and process on our system. Alright, so what we're going to do first is import um, and build a basic scene so that our character or our cube can move around so he doesn't fall off into the end of this world. So I have some textures that we're going to use. Uh, they're basic, they're not too large, about 512 pixels by 512 pixels, which is adequate for a smaller s screen. In screens up to about 7 inches, once you get it to about 10 inches, you kind of do see, you know, they're, um, they're kind of small. At that point you want to use 1024, uh, but it doesn't really matter. 512 is still very acceptable uh, for texture resolutions. So I'm going to copy one link and paste it into this link. We're going to use these debug floor and then these rest of these textures. So these are just, you know, key pickups and doors and everything. But we're going to use these debug, debug texture for the create a plane so we can create a room. So the tile count, uh, width, let's try 100 by 100. Repeat texture, it's ones. Yeah, it's adequate. And then find it. There we go. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate it. Now, if you know how big your area can be or wants to be, you actually, when you create a plane, this size it how you want it, but I think we are able to just duplicate these a couple of times. And be good with that. That and we can control our room size a bit more. Now later we will be creating um levels inside of a modeling application and then exporting it here so that we can have more control over stuff. Basically we'll be creating assets or um, basic rooms or rooms um, you know assets that we can just you know kind of put together in different positions and everything so that we can create different types of rooms but they're kind of easy to all kind of put together. So with our cube, we actually want to put a camera on them. So third person, create. Now right after this tutorial, um, you should be able to see a first person tutorial. So I'll be doing those things simultaneously. And then we need to create a behavior. So behavior is uh, a game behavior. So this tells our character, you know, what to follow. Is this going to be an AI? So self-autonomous, or is it going to be player controlled? So it's going to be game actor, uh, and then we want to say that, hey, this is the player. Now, it'll, it's not going to move because we haven't moved, uh, put controls onto it. So what we need to say is, it's moved by the keyboard. But since this is Android, we need to put a touch control system onto it. We still need the keyboard setup so we can actually like, you know, tell it to move because this basically interprets the keyboard movements. And depending on how big a screen is, you want this kind of big. We 
go. So we're going to publish it as a Windows. But now we can move. Now, we need to rotate the camera to wherever our front is. Position, copy, move that to the camera. And then we can test it with this. Now, to keep things, you know, within like a certain speed, because you don't want it, um, there's a difference between doing keyboard control, it's like, oh, I'm adequate, you know, I'm not going too fast, and then you're on a little screen and you're moving like super fast. So we actually want to set the rate to ro rotate speed to 100 to about 150. Uh, movement speed down by a wee bit. At certain times you may feel like you're not going fast enough. That's actually quite good. Rotate speed is really, really nice. Now what we want to do is add a wall um, so we can't go off the area, off the floor. So I just hit uh, Control C and V, so I copy and pasted it. And then what I want to do is go to Attributes because we already are selecting that item. We want to hit, do a 90 degree. We're going to place this over here. Actually, what we could have done. Make sure it's flipped all right. There we go. And we just move it pretty close to where the floor is. And then we need to copy it a couple more times. And then we'll add a door in this area. Give it a little Windows test and then actually port it to the Android device and install it. There we go. So we won't actually put the door on right now. We'll actually uh, run the test to see if it works. This should, uh, you know, it doesn't include that many textures, it doesn't include that much, you know, stuff to where even if you're running on lower end hardware, it should actually run it very well. So we're not 
There we go. We go straight through the wall. Uh, one last thing we should probably do is go to behaviors, add, collide when moved. This is basically a little box saying, hey, uh, I'm not supposed to go through the wall or go through certain objects. I'm going to set that up just a wee bit off the ground. I'll we'll actually keep it. Nah, we'll Zero. Okay, and then I want to size it up. So maybe towards a seven. Seven and then seven. And there we go. It's just a wee bit outside the box. There we go. We cannot go outside the box. There we go. All right. So, what we're going to do now is go to publish as APK. Now, at this point, you probably want to put an icon so you can see it. So, that's what I'm going to do real quick. So, what we're going to do is go to publish, go to the icon, the little gear, go to Android, icon file. I chose my little robot icon, do landscaped. Um, Let's see if we need to, no, we don't need to change anything at all. Just did our icon. We have our little uh, game name. And then it's version one, it's landscape. Update mode only when scene is changed. Um, so we're going to say OK. And we're going to go into file, publish. Publish as an Android APK. It's going to write file. Now, at this point, it's going to save the file to wherever your, um, you saved the actual file or the actual Copper Cube game. Um, so, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to save this project to the desktop, and then when I say, when I publish it, it's going to publish it to the desktop. So I'll see you in a little bit when we install our APK. All right, hey everybody, this is Tony Sir, and this is the Android phone. It is a quad core one. Um, I don't know how it's updated, no next gen or anything, but it is on the Android 5.01. So I drag drop this uh, using a USB cable from my desktop to the Android phone, and I put it in the Android download file. third person from one that is what I named the tutorial and you can always rename the um, application on your PC on your desktop so we would name it you know test game or something like that we also have our little robot icon so we're going to tap this and we're going to say hey do you want to install it so we're going to install our application we're going to open our application and you're going to see it loading and then you're going to see the, the reason why you saw the camera jittering was that uh, we had not disabled there's an option for the camera for it to collide with solid objects or to not collide with solid objects so I did not disable the do not um, uh, collide with solid objects so we can you know the camera can still collide with Solid objects, and it apparently has it had been part in uh, part in the wall. But uh, right now we're actually running really, really well. Granted, we are running just a couple of five twelve textures that are. It's only referencing one texture. It's not referencing it uh, like I don't know, like ten times or more. Um, so just keeping the G E G P U process down low. We're running an Adreno 306, just for you guys to reference that. As you can see, the actual text on the floor is actually legible. It isn't like super pixelated. And it's running really, really smooth. So in our next scene, we're actually going to add a um, door that will animate. And then we will also add the ability to need a key card for it or to push a button 
or just to be near it so we can add, add you know some differences to our video game and then we'll actually go into um, another tutorial series but we're actually we're going to learn first person controls in case you don't want to start first person uh, so hopefully you enjoy this series and i'll see you in the next video